Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per the latest report, Pinaka MK1 Enhanced Rocket System EPRS and Pinaka Area Denial Munition ADM rocket system have been successfully flight tested by DRDO and Indian Army at Pokhran firing ranges. A total of 24 EPRS rockets were fired for different ranges during the last fortnight. Required accuracy and consistency was achieved by the rockets meeting all the trial objectives satisfactorily. Now, with these trials, the initial phase of technology absorption of EPRS by the industries has successfully been completed and now the industry partners are ready for the user trials or series production of the rocket system. The EPRS is the upgraded version of Pinaka variant which has been in service with the Indian Army for last one decade and with an extended range of 45 kilometers. The system has been upgraded with advanced technologies enhancing the range to meet the emerging requirements. After establishing the performance efficacy of enhanced range version of Pinaka, the technology was transferred to industries which is Munitions India Limited MIL, one of the seven defense PSUs and Economic Explosives Limited Nagpur, a subsidiary of Solar Group which has backed the order to make the latest multi-mode hand grenade for the army. It is also the first private company to make the product. The multi-mode grenades will be replacing the World War II era M36 grenades being operated by Indian Army. The rockets manufactured by MIL under transfer of technology from DRDO were flight tested during this campaign. Different variants of munition and fuses which can be used in Pinaka rocket system were also successfully test evaluated in the Pokhran field firing range. Talking about Pinaka, it's a multi-barrel rocket launching system MBRLS, designed and developed by ARD in association with other DRDO labs. It is an all-weather indirect fire artillery rocket system. The system is capable of firing free flight as well as guided Pinaka rockets. The free flight rockets are of two types, Pinaka MK1 which can engage targets up to 37.5 km and Pinaka MK2 which can engage targets up to a range of 60 km. The guided Pinaka rocket which is of third type can engage targets located deep into enemy territory up to a range of 75 km with high precision. The rocket does not require MLT radar and makes use of INS and GPS guidance. The guided Pinaka has an accuracy less than 30 meters at all ranges which means it requires 2 to 3 missiles to achieve an accuracy of 99% against a single target. The guided Pinaka makes use of aerodynamic force of canard control to improve accuracy and increase the range. This is achieved by integrating a guidance, navigation and control GNC kit with the rocket at its OGIV portion. The GNC kit comprises of unified avionics computer, canard driven rotatory electromechanical actuators, thermal battery, fuse, telemetry and GPS antenna. The Pinaka rocket which is in service with the Indian Army is the MK1 version. AID has also developed the enhanced version of Pinaka MK1 called Pinaka MK1 Enhanced with a range more than 45 km. This rocket has also demonstrated the maximum range of 50 km during design trials carried out at Balasor. The recent tests of Pinaka rockets was for this version only. All the versions of Pinaka which we have discussed are 214 mm rocket. But there is one version of rocket which is 122 mm rocket with extended range of 40 km. With the success of enhanced Pinaka MK1, it paves the way for the series production and can be inducted into Indian Army. The rockets of enhanced Pinaka MK1 can be fired from the same launchers being used for Pinaka MK1 of Indian Army. Indian Army at present operates 10 regiments of Pinaka MK1 MBRLs and has requirement to induct total of 22 regiments and 1.89 lakhs rocket. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. 
Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.